When you do it like this, it means you're French. When you do it like this, it means you're English, okay? And when you do it like this, it means like you're a bastard. Yes! Hey guys, salut, this is Alex. Um, listen, I wanted to make a video about fresh food, but the thing is, I don't have any fridge yet, so uh, the only thing I could find is this. A can of sardines. So I believe you cannot do any proper recipe with just a can of sardines, right? Wrong, 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 wrong. Six mind-blowing dishes now. So true story, before making this video, the only dish I could have think of when it comes to a can of sardine would have been just sardines on a plate with a hunk of bread on the side. It's not that it's not good, it's just a bit repetitive. That was before, because now I know that you can do so much more with just a can of sardines. And I'm gonna share, oops, and I intend to share all my recipes and all my discoveries with you guys. That's the main purpose of this video, otherwise there's no point. Hey guys, I'm making a video, but I'm not gonna share anything. So first off, you need to know five things about sardines. They are cheap. And yes, I realize that having this as my first point makes me look a bit tight. Second, you can keep those out of the fridge for about, you know, an approximate period of forever. Three, everything inside is cooked, which I'm sure you will agree is safer considering the previous point. For the texture of the fish, the flesh itself is very fragile. So you gotta take extra care when you deal with them. And five, it's on the fatty side. I mean, uh, a sardine is an oily fish which is preserved in oil. So oil and oil, it's not like a double negative. It doesn't work this way. That's it for the theoretical stuff. Now to the practical stuff, the recipes. Um, easy, a bit less, shorter, longer, um, Italian, Indian, French. I believe there is one recipe for each and every one of you. Marinated sardines. This is my take on a French classic called fish in escabeche sauce. I know escabeche sounds fancy, but it's just about hot marination. Garlic, a blood orange, a regular orange works fine, parsley, onions, carrots, celery, and a blend of spices. If you want to know your spices, watch my series called Mundus Aromaticus and start building a solid and useful spice rack. Here I've got cloves, coriander seeds, cardamom, star anise, cinnamon, black peppercorns, pink peppercorns. Place a saucepan over medium heat. Drop in a third of a cup of vinegar. To bring more flavors in, I'm adding some pickling juice. Does it look weird? Pickling juice is just the most precious gem for lazy and smart cooks. It has perfect ratios of salt and acid. Squeeze the orange juice in for tang and sweetness and grate the skin. Next, drop everything in the saucepan except for garlic and parsley. You need to cook and infuse all those flavors for about 8 to 10 minutes just to get rid of the first acidic kick. In the meantime, take a can of sardines, place them in a dish. Those were preserved in olive oil, so I'm using that liquid as well. Add a few bits of garlic cloves and some parsley. Gently pour over the hot marination and let that sit in the fridge overnight. Enjoy those cold on a garlicky toast. Tangy, intense, crispy, spicy, and so fresh. This is definitely my kind of recipe. Right guys, I'm editing this video right now, but I reckon it's time for a quick studio update. So this very quick studio update is gonna be all about wins and fails. Soap dispenser on the wall, fail. Workshop boxes to organize all the video gear, win. Fluorescent tape 
on the edges of my shelves fail. Temperature control electric kettle win! Ah, guys, that's it for the quick studio tour. Back to the sardines. Glazed and smoked sardines. This one is inspired by a Japanese dish called unagidon. So classically, it will be eel fish glazed with the sweet soy sake and mirin sauce and broiled over a charcoal grill. Uh, so if I may, there are a few challenges in this recipe because I've got no sake, no mirin, no charcoal grill and no eel. Maybe we change recipe. <laughs> no, we don't change recipes. Uh, you just build on something. In a saucepan over medium low heat, drop in half a cup of water, half a cup of vinegar, half a cup of molasses, or a full cup of dark sugar, and a cup of soy sauce. Now you don't have a charcoal grill, so to get the same barbecue effect, simply add a couple tablespoons of smoked paprika in the saucepan, and cook that for 10 minutes on low heat. To get a silky and shiny finish, add a teaspoon of corn or potato starch diluted in a bit of water. Now open a can of sardines. So those are not preserved in oil, just water, because I felt otherwise the whole dish would be too heavy. Thoroughly coat each fillet in the sweet and sticky sauce and then place it on top of warm and fluffy white rice. Add a few spring onions, sprinkle some sesame seeds and voila! Sticky, smoky, caramelized and the tang from the sauce cuts through the fattiness of the fish. Sardines and fennel pasta. It's a dish that is directly inspired by a dish I had in the very south of Italy, in Sicily. And it was called pasta con le sarde. Italian viewers' discretion is advised. This is not exactly pasta con le sarde. Um, I, uh, you know, you guys uh, tend to be a bit uh, picky when it comes to Italian food. Pre-cook a handful of pasta. The best would be bucatini, but spaghetti is great too. Stop like two minutes before fully cooked. Strain, but keep some water for later. Now chop an onion, a garlic clove, and some parsley. Trim off the tiny tender leaves from a fennel, chop them up roughly. Now chop up the fennel finally into strips. Rehydrate a handful of raisin by soaking them in boiling or hot water. Place a pan over medium heat. Add a drizzle of olive oil. Drop the onion, the garlic, the raisin. To give it a nice color, just use a saffron if you've got some and you're wealthy, or just, you know, tomato paste if you're, let's say, you know, more casual. Broke? Add fennel strips. Mix that up. Add cashews or any nuts you have. Now pour in some leftover water from your pasta. Close the lid and cook that for 10 minutes on low heat. Then add your pasta, but do not overcrowd it. Open a can of sardines and add them in chunks. Sprinkle with fennel tops, parsley, breadcrumbs and lemon zest. Finally, a nice squeeze of lemon. Everything works great in this dish and not only because it's Italian. Sardines and pasta bring some richness. Lemon, parsley and fennel take care of the freshness. You also got some good crunch from the cashews and the breadcrumbs. Humble and flavorful, that could be a definition of Italian cuisine. So guys, that's it for part one. In the next part, I will show you three more recipes that you can rustle up with just a can of sardines. Truth be told, my favorite dish is in the second video. Of course it is. So now people, it's your turn. I want to know which dish you cook with just a can of sardines. Bye bye, take care, salut!